Hey guys, it's me. For today, I wanted to kind of go back in time. I had an opportunity a couple of weeks ago, which is one of the reasons why we haven't been making many videos, to kind of reminisce about what got me started in music. <laughs> so long since I've played any of these songs. I keep screwing them up. Sorry, but I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. It's been more than 10 years. Easy. Where did it all begin? Hmm. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to go see for the first time in like more than two decades, I went to go see Metallica. Metallica for me is where it all started. I was a kid, very young. I think the first time I ever heard Metallica, I must have been maybe four or five years old. I was a little kid. And that was all because of my older brother. Metallica was one of those things where you, you weren't supposed to listen to it, right? It was the devil's music. And that's what intrigued me. It intrigued me the fact that I wasn't supposed to listen to it. And so I started listening to Metallica. When I listened to them, it was like, I want to learn how to do that. For you, I mean, I, when I was a kid, I wanted to play drums. I didn't want to play guitar. I do know how to play drums now. It was one of those things where it was like I begged my parents every year, please buy me a drum set. I remember I used to wish on shooting stars. Can I please have a drum set one day? And you know, the dream did come true because one day I did get a drum set. As a kid, I never got the drums. Instead, I had to resort to stealing my brother's guitar when he wasn't home. That's how I got my start. So my brother had this cheap old guitar. I mean, I honestly, I think it came from like Sears. It was cheap. It was called a Harmony guitar. He had the, this amp that was like this big, like this big of an amp. When he wasn't around, I would just take it and I would play it. I had no idea what I was doing. I remember at the music store when I was a kid, they used to have these books. They were called tablature books and they pretty much told you how to how to play certain songs. And I know a couple of the ones that he originally got were Metallica albums. And I taught myself how to read the tablature. It's really not difficult. Well, at least I don't think it's difficult because I know how to do it. Anyways, so here I was like an eight-year-old kid, nine-year-old kid teaching myself how to read tablature and how to play the guitar. Playing the guitar to me is relatively easy, but I've also been playing guitar for more than two decades. I sat in there and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. I remember every time that I, I heard my brother coming home, I would run and put the guitar back where it was. He had no idea that I was even taking it and I was practicing. I do believe there was a moment though where he did catch me one time playing and I think he kind of was amazed that I had actually kind of taught myself. I don't know, it's all kind of a blur. That was a long time ago. Never forget. First thing I ever learned on guitar. 
Actually, I don't even remember the very first thing I ever learned on guitar. So the first band that really got me interested in guitar, interested in music, interested in understanding anything related to just the 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 just the 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 just the the the, the beauty of music, it was because of Metallica. I mean, I would listen to the first three albums, Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master the Puppets, over and over and over again. And then I'll never forget when I first heard and Justice for All, their fourth album. That album just blew me away. It was just like, wow. I mean, it, it was like I, I couldn't understand that there was something that sounded that good to my ears. The way the guitars sounded, the way the drums sounded. Didn't learn till I was older that the bass was pretty much non-existent, but just the way everything sounded, it was just like the clouds opened up and it was just the most amazing thing. The challenge of learning those songs, I learned almost every single Metallica song from the beginning all the way to the Black Album. The Black Album, again, was life changing for me. It opened my eyes up to not only the distorted parts, but also to the clean, pretty parts too. I'll never forget, you know, I was in fifth or sixth grade. I felt like an outcast because people were listening to like Vanilla Ice and I was listening to Metallica. But then, I remember my friends kind of came around and I started kind of pushing it on them. Like, look, at check this, check this out. And they were like, hey, this is actually pretty cool. Hey, well maybe you should like buy a guitar or buy some drums or we could do a band. And it happened. My very first band, I was like 12 years old and we were a Metallica cover band. We played one show, if you can call it a show. It was like a party with like five people and we were just in the living room playing and people were just listening to us play and they probably thought we were mad. That was our first show. But you know, that's special to me now. I mean, because that's kind of where it all started for me. I go to Austin City Limits, me and my wife, we go on, on this is our third year consecutive now that we've gone and there's always amazing artists, but waiting to see Metallica for hours, squished between a bunch of strangers who are sweaty. You do a lot of thinking. I started reminiscing and remembering how it all began and how Metallica, even when I say it, I kind of cringe. I kind of, when I say the name Metallica, I kind of cringe because Metallica to me, it just sounds so like, I, I don't even know what it is, but it just does. I can't forget my roots. They're the ones that started it all. They're the ones that opened my eyes to music. They're the ones that allowed me to have the skill on guitar that I have. Yeah, I can't shred and play the metal as great as I probably once did, and that's probably because I've gone into all kinds of genres of music. Granted, I am working on that hardcore album. I promised Adrian I would do it. We've already got, I've already got two songs completely done, minus the vocals. Anyhow, but I remember it, it made me a good guitar player. You know, being able to handle Kirk Hammett's guitar solos and all the riffs. I remember me and my, my cover band, what we used to do is I remember when the live album came out, after the Black album, we would listen to that over and over. We could actually play Play their entire live set. May have sounded terrible, but we could play it for the most part. We were little kids playing with our guitars. I know most of those guys gave up music probably like a year or two after that, but I never stopped. And it was these guys who are still about to come on stage without knowing it started it all for me. Really changed my life. No! <clears throat> they essentially changed my life. After I taught myself how to play guitar, I joined bands, I continued pursuing music, I pursued music. It's the one thing through all the different hobbies, through all the different things, all the transitions that I've made in my life, and I've made a lot. One thing that always remained true to me was music. Even if I wasn't in a band playing, I still always have had all of my guitars. always maintained this just love and desire to play music. Now as a musician, not only do I play guitar, I can play bass, I can play drums, I can play piano. It all started with this. And if it weren't for Metallica, I would have never had the desire to pick up a guitar. Music is just, it's, it's everything to me. All types of music. Seeing them perform at Austin City Limits was kind of surreal. I had seen them before. I had seen them back in like 1995. I was pretty young at the time and they were playing with Korn. There was only like 1,200 people there. When I saw that they were playing Austin City Limits and we normally go anyways, I was like, heck yeah, I'm totally gonna go to see them. It was totally worth standing in between all these sweaty, smelly people and the hot sun. It was pretty, it was rough. 
but it was worth it. You don't get starstruck. I'm not like that. I don't get starstruck. And I really wasn't even starstruck seeing them. It was just an awesome experience to be able to see these guys all these years later are able to just play and perform the way they still did 20 years ago. And even before that, these guys changed music. They, they, they came in and did things faster, heavier, harder than anybody else. And that to me was refreshing. It gave me an opportunity to reminisce. It gave me an opportunity to think back. Yes, after the Black Album, I remained a fan of Metallica, Black Album, and everything before that. Everything that came out after the Black Album, I was not a fan of. My dad has been begging me, begging me to make a video of myself playing Metallica songs because he says he remembers that he would go into my room when I was a kid and he would hear me playing those songs. Little does he remember though, he has a, he has a selective memory. The only time he ever went into the room when he was yelling at me to turn it down because it was too loud. Another cool thing, uh, I actually got two guitar picks from them. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, felt like a kid again. Like, give me a guitar pick. I have guitar picks from Pantera, from White Zombie, from awesome bands like Mute Math. And it was awesome to go and to feel like a kid again. It gave me a lot of time to think. It made me feel old, but it made me appreciate for the impact that they had on me in my life personally. And really just in music in general. So anyhow, I think I might just jam out. My wife's not here, so I have it cranked up. I still don't remember half of these songs, but it's fun to try. Anyhow, we have some really interesting stuff coming up. Um, you're gonna you're gonna see the video of me actually writing the two hardcore songs that I promised Adrian that we would start a band doing. Two of them. Fast, heavy. Matter of fact, some of the inspiration for those songs came from that show, being at the Metallica show. I had to do it half heavy and fast. It kind of sucks when you can't even play your own songs. So, anyways, that's kind of some of the stuff that you're gonna get to hear. It's real heavy. I mean, it's like. I don't even remember. I wrote it like two days ago and I still don't even remember. But anyways, I love playing loud and heavy even though I'm not as good as, at it as I once was because I've gotten so used to doing like all the pretty stuff. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help us out. And in the meantime, you should pick up a guitar. And if you've never played a guitar before, learn. It's fun.